I smack him with the vegetable, I'm talking cucumber, so pull me Yo, what's going on, Mob? It's your boy Tem Say Hi, and welcome back to another one of your weekly banger uploads. If you're new to the channel, be sure to go ahead and hit that sub button down below and that noti bell right next to it to be notified. And also, if you can, be sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Y'all guys have been killing the like button goal. Um, this video's like button goal is gonna be 30 likes, as always. You guys have been killing that. Actually, let's bump it up just a little bit. Let's uh, let's bump it up to like 35. I think 35 is that perfect number. Um, so if we can get this video to 35 likes, let's see, let's see, what can we do, what can we do? I'll take, I'll take a 0.5 gram bong rip in the next video for y'all boys, if y'all guys can get this video to 35 likes. Um, so y'all be sure to go ahead and do that. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into today's video. For today's video, I wanted to do a little strain review for y'all guys. So without further ado, let me go ahead and grab the jar. Right here, I got this jar of some White Widow. I don't know if you can see it that well. Let me go ahead and open up the top. Show you guys what it looks like on the inside. And then also, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up some macro shots that I have of it um, on the screen right now. As you guys can tell, very, very frosty. Um, it's actually a fresh harvest, if I'm correct. I remember my plug that I bought it off of told me that it was freshly harvested. Um, that's why it's, you know, so frosty right now. Um, and the fact I've had it in a jar too also helps it, you know, cure and helps the smell and just flavor kind of just, it gives it that little extra oomph, if you get what I mean, that, that little extra kick. Um, but let me go ahead, since we're going to be doing this share interview, let's go ahead and get the smell test for y'all boys. Um, this has been sitting in the jar for honestly about couple of days now so this smell is gonna smell absolutely amazing so let's go ahead first sniff Ooh, right off the bat some funky but yet kind of piney tree like earthy I guess you could say like an OG almost but honestly funk funk is like what I'm really getting which is what I've honestly noticed in a lot of these strains nowadays it's it, they're really funky like um Almost smell like some feet, almost, or like some armpits in a way. Not like in a, like a bad way. Um, for those stoners out there, like that smoke a lot, y'all know what exactly what I'm talking about, um, that smell. It's like, it's, it's a good funk. I don't know how else to explain it, really. But let me uh, give this, I guess, smell a rating. Um, honestly, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this solid 6.8. I think that's a pretty good... Uh, Pretty good rating. It's a very, very good smelling strain. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the looks too are very good as well. I'd give the looks. It's not. They're not crazy. I'd give it a solid like five out of ten. Um, it's it's pretty good looks. It's not something like oh wow that's you know crazy crazy. But you know they look good. It's a five out of ten. Um, but the smell, like I said, six point eight. And you know why not go ahead and start smoking up. Um, I got some of it already grounded up in my grinder, I'm pretty sure, of the White Widow. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's what it looks like when it's ground up. And honestly, when it's grinded up, it honestly smells a lot better as well. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and load up our first bowl. We're also going to be loading up a joint later on in the video um, so that we can get, you know, the perfect flavor test. I know I think in my Cheetah Piss video, I had said that, you know, the way I taste my weed best is through a joint, and that kind of brought some conflict uh, in the video. But to be honest, I, it's true. That's the best way I can taste my bud, especially because right now I just I don't have hemp wick. If I had some hemp wick, then I definitely would be able to taste you know the bud a lot better out of bong rips. But sadly, I, I just I don't got that right now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be sure to buy some though soon. I like to buy like I guess you could say buy in bulk. Uh, Cause I like to buy like the like, yarn balls, like I think it's like 300 feet of hemp wick or something like that, 200 feet. But pretty much that'll last you like a whole year, instead of buying you know the five pack, five dollar pack like every month or every so often. It's it saves you a lot of money. But without further ado, got our first bowl packed here. Nothing too big, nothing too small. Just your average size bowl for your average size person. <laughs> but 
without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and take this bowl. Hopefully y'all guys are smoking along with me, mob. Y'all be sure to comment down below what strain y'all guys are smoking on, or you know, what car y'all guys are smoking on. Whatever y'all guys are smoking on, be sure to comment it down below. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead, take the first sip of the video. Cheers, fam. That, that knob piece is always like so smooth. It um, definitely is my favorite daily, daily driver out of all my pieces. It like, you barely even feel the smoke almost. I mean, especially when you have a good strain like this, it's White Widow, like the smoke doesn't even bother you. And that's, that's what it should do. It shouldn't bother you at all. Like when you're smoking, shouldn't leave a harsh feeling. You shouldn't be gasping for air or none of that. Like you want, you want some good solid smoke. Um, and that's what this White Widow is. It's good solid strain. Um, honestly, just from this bong rip, I'd give it like an overall rating, taste, smell, um, all that. I'd give it like a, honestly, kind of almost the same rating as the smell of 6.8 to like a seven. Um, I definitely would buy this again. Um, and that's kind of how, how I rate my, you know, scale. Five is like, you know, okay, it's good, but I'm not gonna buy it again. Uh, six to like seven is, okay, this is good, I'm probably gonna buy it again. And then like seven, eight, um, that's like, oh damn, this is good. This is, you know, I wanna buy this often. And then like nine, 10 is like, damn, this is life changing, you know, this is good, good. Um, and this is like, you know, a six, 6.8 to like a seven almost. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, especially for the price too, I got I think about 60 grams for $200, it's like $3 a gram almost. Um, so this was definitely well, you know, worth it. But y'all be sure to comment down below. Have y'all guys tried a White Widow before? And let me know what y'all guys, you know, your opinion on the White Widow. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, my papers. I'm gonna get my filters and get ready to roll up for y'all boys so that we can, you know, get a little joint join action in the video. Let's go ahead and zero out the scale. I'm trying to turn this camera a little bit to the side. All right, hopefully y'all can see the scale. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, as you guys saw, there is a little bit left in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out about a gram. For, well not a gram actually, i weigh out about like 0.8. Yeah, right about there is good. 0.89. Take the camera off the tripod to show y'all. Yeah, as y'all guys see, 0.88, 0.89. Let's go ahead and get this uh, close up started. As y'all guys can see, we're using a Hall of Flame tip right here. Uh, I put a little raw tip on the mouthpiece also to give it a little bit more extra filtration. And then we're using ourselves some raw king sized, uh, or yeah, wait. Yeah, raw king blacks, raw king sized blacks. My bad, I blanked out for a second right there. But we're gonna go ahead and put the snugs on the grinder. And we're gonna get this all sped up for y'all boys so that y'all can get, you know, a nice little montage. So let's get this montage started.
know what's going on mom but as you can tell we're outdoors and i got that joint rolled up go ahead and grab that bad boy got it in the hall of flame dube tube right here but this boy is nice and rolled up as your boys can tell right there it's a little windy right here so i'm gonna try to go to a little bit better location let's go a little bit down here um i'm actually at a little spot that's you know not at my trail a little bit different but it's still still nearby my uh my house so it's actually pretty convenient let's see if i can boom okay i think this spot is perfect honestly it would look nice having that background but i guess this background is gonna suffice but without further ado like i said we got this joint right here of the white widow and the hall of flame dude too boom right there it's not an amazing rolled joint but it's decent you know i give it a six out of ten on the roll not gonna lie could have done better for sure but it is a-okay get my keys belt right here try and find this lighter all right fam you already know the deal we're gonna get a nice little slow-mo for y'all guys so let's go ahead and hire this frame rate nice bad boy lit guys we got this bad boy nice and lit up hopefully y'all enjoyed that slow-mo not gonna lie this, this is smoking really good a lot better than I expected and it tastes really good let's go on a little walk while we smoke this bad boy Let me not leave my keys over here. I'll leave the water. But definitely not my keys. in the middle of the neighborhood practically that's bad boy smoking Whew. this white widow is definitely good to roll roll with There's just an old man walking by. Well, more kind of running by. I always worry about like getting in trouble, smoking out in public, especially being in an illegal state and shit. Like, I could get in massive trouble for this. There's like a hornet or like a wasp or something over there. Hope you don't come my way.
Y'all be sure to comment down below if y'all guys are enjoying this video. And y'all let me know down below what, uh, you know, other video ideas y'all guys want to see or other content y'all guys want to see. You know, some maybe some brands that y'all guys want me to collab with. Y'all be sure to comment them down below. This bad one used to be relit. I'll put the lighter. As you can see, the resin ring is beautiful on this. And it's so windy. It's hella windy out, so it's like hard as hell to light this. There we go. This bad boy is smoking good. It's definitely like that A tier weed. Definitely that like 6.8 to 7 like I was saying earlier in the video. Loki really need a Bev. Glad I brought this water. I normally always forget a Bev. Do y'all enjoy smoking joints? Y'all let me know down in the comments. I low key, I mainly don't smoke joints. I, I rarely, it's like on occasions. Every once in a blue moon, I'll roll one up. But not gonna lie, I'm low key about to put this out and save this for later. Only because I got a dinner I gotta go to with the family. Um, so I gotta head back home. But hopefully y'all boys have enjoyed the video. Like I said, I give this, you know, a solid 6.8 to 7. I, I give it, you know, because it's like right in the middle, I give it a 6.9. Um, but y'all be sure to let me know down in the comments some future videos y'all want to see. Comment some questions for the Q&A that I plan on posting, uh, hopefully in, you know, the next couple of videos. I'm not sure when I'm going to post it, but y'all comment some questions down below. But without further ado, Mob, that's going to cut it there. Hopefully y'all boys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next week. In the next video. Peace out, mob. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, huh. Sip on that drink, so I sip on some muddy. Lays on freeze for a kind of buddies. Rest of my pops, you still on my thoughts. Never caught up, I ain't fuck with the box. We on a block, no, we tucking up chives. Smoke a little gas, that shit I might cough. Don't eat shine like a light to the mars. Talking a beat, and I say what I'm thinking. I smoke on that gas, cause I don't like drinking. Throw him in the lake, we ain't worried about sinking. All my niggas free, said a shout out to Lincoln. Get right with God, cause boy, I be sunning. Been all alone. Some downy, free all my niggas, they lock in the county. Dead or alive, bitch, I got a bounty. See, I trip, trying to shoot up my enemy. Niggas is hoes, they wanna get rid of me. I'm in that mode, don't think that you feeling me. Don't he find the best of the century? Shots to the face, and you to the dentistry. Run up the money, we the economy. Read a bitch, my just like psychology. Pay me the tax, like we a monopoly. Money and must, it's never a probably. Young my boss, she said I'm doing gaudy. Talking to mob, we sliding with shotties. Bought a new block, shit punch like Rocky. Free that nigga re, but take back Bobby. Bullets get hot, just like some Takis. Up on a op, fuck it, I sock. And when I see Chase, you know I'm gon' drop him. Bitches be hosts that they do it for fun. I'm on the stage and I'm keeping that gun. Love high tech zips, sir, not rum. Niggas see Donnie, you know that they run. I'm up on that track, you know I go dumb. I've been through too much, that a nigga is numb. She a little freak, suck dick like a thumb. Got a little coke for me, shoot her for a bum. You run up on Donnie, that Glock getting dumb. I'm dipping from Tulsi, that fence and I jump. I call my little bro, he slide with a drum. This shit is raw, came straight from the south. I'm with your bitch, got dick in the mouth. Call her my love, I told her she special. Call her them boys, they slide in a rental. Tryna solve Donnie, little bitch, I'm a puzzle. Got a new rifle, shit came with a muzzle. Donnie a demon, swear he the devil. Bury your eye, finna give me a shovel. Sit with some syrup, you know that I'm geeking. I'm on that stripper, you know that I'm creeping.
Alright, bro.